Hi guys, Samantha from Jason Summer Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you a fun uh, technique using a silk screen. So today I'm going to be using this beautiful uh, silk screen from Tonya's Treasures. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see there, hopefully now you can see the pattern a little bit better. But this is the silk screen we're going to be using. So I just want to lay this down. And I'm just going to cut away this excess white. And now this sheet of white is a uh, Prima white. And it has been rolled out to 0.8 millimeters thick on my pasta machine. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just going to make sure that I burnish this down thoroughly. Not so much that you're going to end up burnishing clay into the silk screen, but just enough that it's going to stick down and we shouldn't have any leaking leakages whenever we are uh, working with it. Okay. okay. So I'm going to be using uh, black paint. So, and this is the black Americana paint. Just going to squeeze a little bit onto here. And since the silk screen is a fairly long silk screen, I do a little bit there and then kind of midway down the silk screen, I'll do another one. There we go. Then grab a scraper of some kind. and use it to scrape that paint through your screen. Just making sure that I get a nice even coat. Okay. Then we're going to put that silk screen into some lukewarm water to clean it off. And so here it is. Now you can see that we have a little bit of leakage over here and over here. And I had a slight dip in the clay in those areas. So it's not a huge issue. So I'm just going to grab this. Pick it up. And this needs to dry before I can use it for our next step. So just pop it over to the side and clean your tile. Okay, so this is nice and dry now. So now we are going to uh, work on colouring our piece. So I've got this on a piece of paper so that it can be slid around easily so that I can get to places that I want to get to. And I also have some pastels over here. So I've chosen it so it's almost like a Skinner blend from light to dark with purple and light to dark with blue. And so what I do typically so I'll just pop these to the side and we'll start with the purple one. And I'm just going to scrape a decent amount of the darker of the purples into the tile. Then the next lightest colour. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then finally the lightest. And Everything I'm doing here, you would repeat with um, the blues. So now I've got lots of nice, fine tip brush. You just find the best one that I have. This looks pretty good. <clears throat> I'm just going to take some purple. <clears throat> and I'll just do that with quite a few different pebbles and I might do the blue ones, we'll see. Essentially I'm going to just go from dark to light. Like so. And because we use black paint it's not really going to be influenced by the pastels so 
if you rub the pastels over the surface that's fine and we're going to end up with a very light tint on the white I don't want you to brush the pastels onto the white um, but you are going to get a uh, covering on the white just because the pastels will uh, rub off onto the white but it will be a very light soft tone so now I'll continue doing this and we'll see how it comes out and just blow each time you're finished so that you don't have any excess pastel floating around okay and here is how it looks so far so as I was going I would blow off the excess mark powder and then just gently rub my brush over the surface to colour in the outside areas so I haven't finished the whole thing but what I want to do now is just take a piece of paper and just burnish this pastel down so that it doesn't move in the next process you could continue brushing your pastel over the surface if you want but what I want to do now is I want to bring up some alcohol ink and I want to do another side to the veneer. And this will take off any excess pastel as well. So I'm going to be using um, a Durandac Sailboat Blue and Amethyst. So you open those away from your clay always because the alcohol ink dries around the caps and so when you open them the um, alcohol ink sometimes crumbles and you don't want that on your clay. So I'm just going to quickly pick that up and just move it to the side there a little bit so it's closer and easier for me to work with. I'll just burnish that down one more time. Okay, and I'm going to be using the same brush but I'm just going to quickly clean off the mica powder that was on there. And let's start with the purple. So I'm just going to gently drop down a bit. And I'm also going to bring over some alcohol blending solution. And this is just going to um, extend the life of this. So just about two drops there. Just mix that in. Okay, and I don't want my brush too wet. I'm actually going to be quite careful to um, paint inside the lines here so that we actually get a um, pure white effect. Like so. So it will look almost the same except that uh, instead of having pastel on the white, you on the white veins you're not going to have that you're going to have just color inside the pebbles so you can put both effects onto your veneer if you want it's completely up to you uh, or you can just put one it's completely up to you so I'm just going to continue coloring the rest of this until it is finished and I'll show you what it looks like okay and there we go it's all finished so you can see the two variations. This creates a more uh, blended, subtle look, which is really nice. And this will create a really vibrant, um, striking effect. So depending on what you want, um, switch and change up your different techniques. So now I'm just going to quickly trim off these edges to give us one Clean veneer. Okay, and there we go. That's it. It's really very simple. Now you have a beautifully coloured veneer that you can use for just about anything you want. Uh, you can cut out earrings, you could cut out some donuts, you could make a bracelet, just about anything you want. So let me know in the comments below what you'd like to make. Also remember I have a lot of different tutorials on YouTube. I'll provide a link to my uh, project tutorials playlist where I have a bunch of different tutorials. Just take this veneer and replace it with whatever veneer is in that tutorial and you should end up with something really pretty. So I hope that was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to support this channel, please do consider becoming a patron in my patron community. I'll provide a link to that in the description below. Uh, on there you'll get 
um, exclusive videos for patrons only and also discount codes to my Etsy shop so please do consider checking that out as it helps me continue posting free tutorials like this one. And as always, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.